chance here flicked on, Glasgow Girls going through, she's blasted her left foot volley over the bar and that was the first chance really of the match. Lee Ferrell there, Lee Ferrell, behind. she scored in the semi-final and just couldn't quite uh, compose herself. And Muir on the right hand side will take the throw in, taking quickly, beating the Glasgow Girls player, got it in, great ball into the back post, can't quite make a connection onto it, great run by Evans into the box there, lovely ball across but just a little bit too much on it. She did ever so well through, as we've already said, is very, very fast. Chance here, though. Evans trying to find through. She's going to go for the long range effort. It looks like it's going to the bottom post. And well done. McNamara was scrambling across a goal, like you say. It didn't look like a, a great effort from Evans. From this angle, we thought it was probably going wide. But McNamara just made sure and flipped on straight away. Chance on this left hand side. Coming going to score maybe an early goal just like we've seen in some of the other games good turn chance to get across the six yard box but the fight got to it and did ever so well got to it first and that was what mattered most but early on chance they're straight away for Glasgow girls seen the run there of Lauren Coleman determined to make that front post run up top Long ball, looking for through. oh that was just been taken down and that will have to be a penalty that looks like that a could it be a sending off? As well, we can see that Carla Palmer I think's tucked in behind. That could I'm rule not out the last sure. This thing. is going to be interesting to see. I, I hope McNamara doesn't get sent off. That was definitely a goal scoring opportunity. Like Daniel Faulkner to take this. The first penalty of this weekend. She goes for the goal. Like what a save! That was an incredible save by McNamara. The Faulkner there, just great. I mean. It wasn't maybe top corner, as you would say, but it was, but a, it, it was a powerful connection with it, and it was certainly going in the right direction. That marked the marriage. That was a brilliant save. Chance, the player on his right hand side with Gurley, looking for Evans in the box now. She's got two Glasgow girls defenders around. Plays it onto the edge of the box. Chance with the right foot shot. It's on target, oh, and that is the goal. A what a lovely finish on the edge of the box. Probably the furthest I we've seen a goal. I can't say it was Faulkner. It was either Faulkner or Hay. She's been mellied onto the ground by her teammates. Quite but it was so. onto the edge of the penalty box by Gurley. Did ever so well. And it was just curled at the perfect time where McNamara just couldn't quite get enough on it to just put it away. Was in, well, I thought was in the perfect position there, but big steps by the referee. Uh, players uh, forward here from Mearston, chance for them to whip it in into the penalty spot and try and get a flick on. We've spoken of the importance of set pieces in this match, can they prove it here? She's went for a goal. It's got in target, and what a goal, what a wonderful goal. I thought as soon as you said she's went for a goal, I thought, no, oh, it's just from the way we're standing, it doesn't look like she's gone for a goal. She did, and I think it was Daniel Faulkner with another long range effort in this match. She's seen that she can expose Matamara's height. No one's actually thought of that yet. We've seen it try to take the quick shot, but no one's actually utilised the fact that she's not the tallest goalkeeper. And again, we see Cristiano Ronaldo not being afraid to have a shot from any range within 30, 35 yards. Faulkner's went for it. Twice now, she's lobbed McNamara and she's got two goals for her team. If you can come on and produce that kind of quality, you'd be happy, wouldn't you, with your team? That must be what they're looking for, but here's another chance. Oh, and it's come off with Glasgow oh, Girls player. It's that's goal unfortunate. There. A lot of pressure on from, I think it was Hay in the midfield, putting the Glasgow Girls player under a lot of pressure. Um, on this right hand side with Shannon McManus looking for a through ball and that that's is a, a wonderful great, pass. great touch she's got a chance here one over the keeper keeper's come to it Fife's still got a loose ball she's got to get a claim it she has claimed it at the second time of asking it was wonderful there the team Peacock was played through she a wonderful touch onto it to, to bring it down <laughs> It's been a really hard season. Um, the girls have worked extremely hard. They've put a lot of effort into this, and it's a culmination of all the years' hard work now. And it's a day they're probably never going to forget. I think on the day, the first half was pretty even, but I think in the second half, the girls had that wee bit extra to get them over the line. And I mean, they're, they're over the moon. They're delighted. So are we. Um, it probably won't be until we get home and think about it that all kind of click in. I can't even describe it to be honest. It's just amazing. Such a good feeling. I think we did well. Um, we kept the pressure on them and got the goal, so can't complain. I'm sticking with Muri, with Ryan's team, after this victory as well, it's just amazing. His coaching's great, so can't fault him, so yeah.